Hey, welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris out here in one of my favorite parks. A little bit windy, storm coming in, but I'll speak up loud for you. You know, I was just going through my drum journal, and it's very important to keep a journal. You'll get so many divine ideas uh, come right to you as you ask, seek, and knock. Ask until you receive it, seek until you find, knock until the door is open. And one of the things I wrote down here is about feeling frustration or physical pain. Frustration is emotional pain, and then you got physical pain from your limbs, your legs, your hands when you're playing. And what do you do when, when this is happening? Well, it's because you're being pushed. There is, we talked about staying in the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is your strength. He is the master of music, and he is not grimacing, you know, sourpuss face like you're sucking on lemons, you know, straining to try to do something. And he has self-mastery. We talked about that. Self-mastery is the last fruit mentioned in Galatians 5.23 about the singular fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is love. And self-mastery, self-control, is a characteristic flavor. It's I think it's listed last because it's like, hey, God's in control. He's in control of all things, his emotions and the situation. And you want to tap into that skill, that mastery. So I wrote down here, watch out for this frenzy of being rushed. We had a video about being rushed. So if, you, if you're like really trying to go fast, you know, and you're sitting there doing this, you know, or you're really trying to go fast, you know, as fast as you possibly can, you know, and, and you're just pushing yourself and you got a metronome going on and you're just burning. You know, a little burn goes a long ways. It's like in the gym. You got to be careful when you're pumping weights. I see people going <laughs> like that. They're just, they're going to get an injury. They don't understand. 63, you're going to get injuries if you go crazy with any physical exercise. You know, John 10, 10, Satan comes to destroy. He wants to hurt you. That's the word. Make you suffer. He wants to steal something away from you. He wants to ultimately kill you. But, you know, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. He destroyed it on the cross, but he wants to destroy it in our lives. He doesn't want you to be prey to Satan. So you got to be watching for his schemes. One of those schemes is, you know, oh, just keep going so fast that you end up hurting yourself. You know, little, you can do this. I'm not straining. Don't strain. Don't go. All your muscles are all tense and you're just ah, ah, grimacing with your face. I have a mirror so I can see right off the bat. If I've got tension, because tension, I, I just have a saying, tension is evil. What I like to do is play to the edge where tension is starting to burn a little bit, but then just back off a little bit, okay? Just back off. Don't get into burn, because that is lactic acid buildup, and that's not good for your muscles. And when you're tense, your muscles are not flexible. They're not like a rubber band. They're going to break. And I've, I felt that in my wrist. It's scary. You know? So if you feel you're going to have to switch to a different grip. If this causes me problems after a while, I switch to the traditional grip. If this causes me problems for a while, I'll just do stuff with my left hand. You know, I'll just work on my left hand, shake my right hand off. you got to be conscious of pain. Pain is there to warn you not to push back past. You know, these people who say, oh, you just got to push past the pain. These are, these are people listening to demons. Demons want you to experience pain. They want you to think it takes work, you know, like the old covenant. Old covenant's all about work, work, works, you no know, works. And, and that's not what we're called to. In the new covenant, we're called to be led by the Holy Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, gentleness, kindness to yourself, right? And this is where you get self-control, self-mastery. So watch out for the taskmaster. You know, that's an ancient spirit that whipped the Jews for 400 years to make more straw, uh, more more bricks out of less straw, you know? So watch out that you're, if you feel tension or you see muscles all rippling in your arms, that's why I watch, watch myself in a mirror. I have three mirrors, one in front of me, one on both sides. You know, what are we trying to get to some goalpost anyway, you know? We're supposed to be enjoying this journey. So be careful about that. And let's see if there's any other notes here. 
It says there are many uh, other techniques to take advantage of the opportunity. Um, so yeah, so like if you feel like, oh, I just can't do, I can't do this single stroke. I just, you know, hey, give yourself a break. Do something related to it. You know, if you're having a problem, loose. I don't stop. Stopping is like running a sprint like that and you're having a problem if you stop your muscles are going to cramp they're just going to cramp up so what i do if i feel that pain or the burn lactic acid buildup i'll just play a little higher maybe i'll get some more blood flow into that area to push that lactic acid out of my hands and i will relax i'll let myself still play older I'm not playing as fast as I used to play but I can play all night long play in the park all day long play in bands all day long see now I felt some tension right here in my traditional grip so I have to move my arm around move my wrist around so I get rid of that oh we're getting a storm coming in so it's gonna be a loud video so I'm, I'm gonna have to maybe play over the top of my stick move my fingers a little bit and then come back into my wrist position you got it. You can't just push through the pain. You got to adjust your body to get rid of the pain. So figure out how to adjust your body. Don't do anything jerky, right? You might just play like that for a while and then come over here like this. Maybe try some other fingers, some different techniques, one finger, both fingers. And then there's the old, just make sure you're playing in form. You have good form. Because all drumming is, is physics. So you want to feel the energy. You don't want to fight the energy. You don't want to hold things down. You want the rebound to happen. So feel that rebound. Let it rebound. Let it work for you. I have a whole techniques page, mechanics of drumming. I want to look at that. But this is about adding some variety. So you feel like you can't go any further or you're starting to get uneven. Playing sloppy or uneven is not the solution because however you practice is how you're going to play. That's how it's going to sound in your playing because you created a habit. You have sloppy thinking, you'll have a sloppy performance. So you can always do some stretching. Also, you know, stretching, I was told by the Lord, is very good, you know. Uh, stretch your, your hands. Stretch your wrists. If you have a some pain, don't wait until the pain gets unbearable. Just stretch it out. Right? Stretch it out. Come up with different stretches. Sometimes I just don't do this violently again. Just kind of round it, go around in circles, figure a way to get keep pain from it. I think it's a lot easier to prevent something from happening than try to fix it after it's happened. So if you start feeling a little cold, come on, man, hit your zinc, D3, K, vitamin C. Don't wait for it to turn into a full-blown cough or whatever, uh, snob, snozzing all the time. Don't wait until you're sick. Nail it ahead of time. Be proactive. Same thing with drumming. You know, if you feel a little twing, you know, you need to act right then. Well, we got a storm. Well, woo! Wow, we just lost it, folks. Woohoo! That was exciting. So, hope you enjoyed that video. Get the word out. <laughs> Joy's in the journey. And uh, spread this word, spread this video, and look down in the comments and description also, all right? Down below.